Hi guys, welcome to my very first makeup tutorial. I started off by applying Nugget eyeshadow from Sleek all over her lids as a base for the eyeshadows I'll be applying next. I then blended a bronzer on her crease to warm up the eyes and give them a soft definition. To further define her eyes, I blended Bark by Sleek on her outer crease in a classic V-shape. I applied a little bit of face powder on her lids to clean them up from any brown shadow that might have fallen. I created a soft winged liner with Mineral Earth eyeshadow from Sleek and a slightly damp angled brush, getting as close to the lashes as possible. Before moving on to her lower lash line, I applied her foundation. I am using L'Oreal's Perfect Match Foundation in Golden Beige. This is a medium to full coverage foundation, and because I wanted a more natural finish to the skin, I used a fluffier brush to buff the foundation into the skin. To eliminate any streak marks from the brush, I gently patted her skin with a damp sponge. Moving on to concealer, I used Kiko's Natural Concealer in Medium to hide hyperpigmentation on her skin, blending it out with a damp sponge. To highlight underneath her eyes, I used a sheer foundation in porcelain for a natural lift to her face. Before setting her foundation, I curled her lashes. This allowed the foundation to work a little bit into her skin. I also used sleek taupe eyeshadow to highlight her inner corners, brow bone and center of the lid. I also defined her lower lash line with mineral earth eyeshadow. set a foundation and concealer in place, 
a lightly dabbed Kiko Soft Life Powder in medium beige with a big dense brush onto her skin. I warmed up and defined her beautiful cheekbones with Kiko's Rock Attraction Bronzer in Steady Honey. I also used a bit of that bronzer with a big brush to warm up her temples, nose and chin for an all over sun kissed look. blush, I used Kiko's Rock Attraction Blush in Sound Coral, which is a barely there but glowing kind of blush. This helped achieve a natural and healthy complexion. I also used some of that taupe eyeshadow from Sleek to highlight her cheekbones. Then I use a technique called baking to clean up and sharpen the bronzing we just did. Time to groom the brows and fill in the sparse areas. I am using Sleek Spark Eyeshadow for that. I am quickly coating her lashes with Kiko's Volume and Definition Top Coat Mascara. I am only doing her top lashes because I wanted to keep everything looking quite soft. Time to dust off the baking powder and move on to the lips. I started by using the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops to give her lips some color. For an extra pop of pink, I dabbed Kiko Smart Lipstick in Candy Rose on her lips and finished them off with the NYX Butter Gloss in Vanilla Cream Pie. And there you go! A beautifying daytime makeup! I hope you enjoyed!